yo what's going on guys welcome back to weathering waves in today's video i'm going to pretty much share with you guys what i've been doing so far with my free-to-play account and you know which characters i have and how i've been doing so far in this account so if, as you guys can see we have the main character right here the havoc mc i already made a video talking about him and how apps like how insane this unit is and yeah havoc mc is just absolutely amazing like the fact that he can do so much damage and he works perfectly well with senhua i'm definitely investing on uh havoc mc because he is a strong havoc dps unit and there's not a lot of havoc units in the game as of right now we don't even have a five star havoc unit so i feel like havoc mc is a great start for a havoc element and i'm definitely going to pretty much use this character long term now when we take a look at all the characters that i have so far so we come over here and look at resonators i have of course havoc mc we have senhua i've been using senhua building her she is an amazing basic attack buffing unit when there's going to be future upcoming basic attack units i feel like senhua is going to be the blueprint for those basic attack units because she can buff basic attack damage so definitely building up my senhua making her stronger now, i also have varina varina by far the best support unit in the game she can literally buff damage buff attack and on top of that she can heal really awesome support unit overall and we also have caltro caltro is literally the best electro a dps unit in the game so building him up i have him at level 50 he is extremely powerful and then we also have mortify right here amazing support unit and we also have Baiji, who's an amazing healer as well. And then I ended up getting Jinshin. I got her today. I did one summon and I just got her out of nowhere, which was crazy. So we ended up getting Jinshin. I'm definitely going to build this character later on in the future. But as of to right now, I'm mostly focusing on I'm mostly focusing on Kaltro because Yinlin is coming soon. So I want to make sure that my Kaltro is well built before Yinlin comes into the game. And I'm also focusing on my Verena. Definitely trying to build up her ultimate right here. Because I feel like for Verena, um, she is very easy to build. Because Verena, what you mostly want is to level up her Resonance Liberation. So that she can fill up your allies a lot more. And then for her Forte Circuit, you really want to level up. You really want to unlock the Inherent Skill Gift of Nature. Because Gift of Nature, she's going to buff uh, her allies attack by like 20% for 20 seconds. So... I feel like for Verena, you only want to level up Resonance Liberation and you only want to level up Gift of Nature. I feel like for Forte Circuit, you don't really have to level up Forte Circuit. But if you want more healing, of course, you can level up Forte Circuit for more healing. So the only important things that you want to focus on with Verena is Forte Circuit and Resonance Liberation and also unlocking Gift of Nature. So that's pretty much what I've been doing with my Verena. And I also fought a turtle boss i fought this turtle boss and he is going to drop the materials you need in order for you to level up a uh, varina so i've been focusing on that recently and uh for these remaining characters right here i'm not really going to build them up because i'm not going to use them at all the only units that i'm pretty much going to use is caltro varina uh senhua with havoc mc and i'm also going to use this character this character alongside with mortify so those are like the only units that I'm mainly going to use um, on my account as of to right now. For future upcoming units, like let's say, like for version 1.1, we have like more units that are going to come. I'm definitely going to be using them, but I feel like the account is looking really, really nice so far. Now, when we look at the gacha system real quick, we come over here to convene. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on using my standard, my illustrious tides for the weapon banner because i want to get caltro's weapon i'm currently at like um 10 pity right now i'm currently at 10 out of 80 pity and i want to get his weapon and the reason why is because uh winter bloom broad blade is really really not winter bloom but winter broom is really really wrong really really strong for um caltro the lustrous razor is a really powerful weapon for him so i want to make sure that i get his weapon out of the way and then once we get the free five star selection if i come over to the vent and we check out the awakening journey once you reach level 45 you'll be able to get a five star weapon selection chest and i'm going to save this for yinlin i'm going to use cosmic ripples for yinlin because that is uh, one of her best in slot weapons so that is pretty much the plan 
uh, before Yinlin comes, I hope that I can get uh, Kaltro's weapon so that when I get his weapon, then when I reach level 45, I'll be able to unlock Yinlin's Cosmic Ripples weapon. So that is pretty much, you know, the grand plan for this account is to pretty much summon on the weapon banner so that we can get Kaltro's weapon and to pretty much summon for Yinlin and get her weapon as well. Now, when it comes to the story and exploration, now I pretty much completed uh, the story and exploration already. As you guys can see, my entire map is cleared. Everything is cleared. Um, what I mean by cleared is we pretty much unlocked all of the main uh, teleport waypoints like these right here, the Residence Nexus. We pretty much unlocked all of them and the map, we can pretty much see everything in the map. Now, there's still a lot of things for me to do when it comes to, you know, grinding echoes, uh, farming, you know, basically farming echoes and becoming stronger. There's a lot of things for me to do. Like if I zoom out, as you guys can see, the whining, uh, Aix Myers, like 12% complete, uh, Tiger's Maw, 20% complete, 24% complete. There are so many things that I need to do. And I've been playing this game for like six days, I think six or seven days. And we're not even close to completing all of these locations. There's like so much things to do. And we also have the Tower Adversity. And we also have um, this like Spiral Abyss type uh, mode where you can go in and you can basically grind and just fight enemies. And get a lot of resources and materials really really nice overall so what i've been focusing on lately is leveling up my characters because if i come back over here my varina is currently level 43 and then of course my couch was level 50 so i've been focusing on getting you know materials for you know these characters so that i can level them up and i feel like if you have a lot of stamina you should definitely focus on leveling up your characters to at least level 50 as up to right now because once you reach level 50 you'll be able to unlock the forte a skill tree and you'll be able to level up your characters uh skills like you can level up their basic attack resonance skill forte circuit resonance liberation and etc so level 50 is where you know that's that's when you truly get to unlock you know the character's kit and you get to see their you know true potential but of course the more you level them up the more you can further enhance them and make them stronger so this account, I will say this account is actually really, really nice. In terms of characters, we have really, really good characters. Like Marina is a really, really strong character alongside with Kaltro. But I feel like Jenshin, she is very, very nice, especially when it comes to grouping up enemies. Definitely going to be using this unit. And on top of that, she can shield, which is really, really strong overall. And when it comes to the Havoc MC, his damage is nuts. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys his gameplay in a couple of minutes right here. But his damage was just insane. Like the fact that he was able to deal insane damage. Like he, he did like 4,000 damage with his ultimate. I am highly impressed with the Havoc MC. And I'm definitely going to be building him up more and more. But I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to the gameplay and show you guys Havoc MC and the team that I'm using. I'm using him with Senhua alongside with Verena because Senhua is going to buff his basic attack. And Verena is, of course, going to heal and buff attack as well. So let's go ahead and switch to the gameplay.
Yeah, that gameplay was crazy. Like, I know you guys are shocked. Havoc MC, do not sleep on this unit. Absolutely busted unit, and you guys should indeed build him. But that's pretty much my account update and what I've been doing so far. Got really nice characters, and the goal is to pretty much, you know, level up, become stronger, get some better echoes. When we look at, you know, the echoes as of to right now, I don't really have insane echoes. If I come over here to resonators, I don't really have crazy echoes. But I feel like when you further increase your level, I think when you reach level 25, that's when you start to unlock legendary echoes. So I'm really trying to, you know, level up, become stronger so that I can get better echoes. So that's pretty much, you know, what I've been up to recently. Grinding echoes, leveling up characters, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. And I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.